all right guys Wes here welcome back to another battlefield 2042 news video and we just got the patch notes for update 4.0 we're going to talk through most of the important patch notes there's a lot of changes in this update obviously as you guys know battlefield 2042 is not in the best state but we do have some important updates that we'll be releasing tomorrow so according to the ea games blog battlefield 2042 update 4.0 will be available on april 19th this update brings vip functionality for party and squads a change to end of round that displays the the scoreboard as well as an overhaul of weapon attachments it also includes many further changes and bug fixes detailed in the full below including balance adjustments to specialists such as updated traits for round palk and improvements to sundance's specialty with a focus on their anti-armor grenades being more effective against targets in their immediate vicinity next up we've got vehicle balance changes such as making the m5c bolt passengers easier to target and reduction power for its missile launcher fixes for being able to ads after exit in a vehicle or being able to revive players near objects improved ribbons and xp events to make them easier to unlock across modes they then gave a general statement regarding this update they stated that we'd like to thank you for your patience while we work to get this update into your hands and we're looking forward to the continued feedback once you've been able to hop in and play our next update following this one is presently scheduled to release in may and is focused on bringing further quality of life updates and fixes we will have more to tell you about the contents of that update closer to its release now let's dive into the nitty gritty on this update so they added view ip which is voice over internet protocol the patch note states that there are two voice channels to choose between party and squad the scoreboard is now going to be available at the end of round screen so after the game ends you can actually see how well you did as well as your teammates did not sure how they forgot about this option but nonetheless i'm glad that they added it next up we've got weapon attachments now with 4.0 they stated we've overhauled the behavior of many weapon attachments to ensure that their impact when customizing your weapons is unique and noticeable previously some attachments had effects that were too similar from others and it was unclear what the impact on your weapons would be when switching between them we encourage you to experiment with the refresh weapon attachments to see how they feel after the update and you'll be able to read the full set of changes further down the page they gave an example how the weapon attachment update will change from 3.3 to 4.0 for exhibit a the warhawk compensator in update 3.3 all it did was improved horizontal recoil control and reduced the vertical recoil control and update 4.0 it improved recoil control reduced weapon accuracy for the rattlesnake light grip in update 3.3 it said that it improved accuracy while moving reduced accuracy while static an update 4.0 it increased the hip fire accuracy and reduced accuracy while ads for exhibit c on the hybrid 1.5 to 3x scope the ads speed decreased in 4.0 and zoom levels and optics toggle options persist now for exhibit d we have the subsonic rounds the base recoil was reduced in 4.0 and reduced muzzle flash visibility and decreased projectile velocity next up we have further changes to weapon attachments the factory and extended barrel descriptions now display the correct fire rate changes weapon modifiers are now correctly applied when swapping attachments while the bipod is equipped they fixed an issue that would grant unlimited ammo if magazine attachments were toggled in between the firing under barrel attachment adding and removing attachments in the plus menu will now always correctly apply their statistic changes and there was just a slew of other up updates to the attachments for bug fixes and other various quality of life improvements to the attachment system I recommend you guys read the full notes though next up we have some updates to matchmaking and social they fixed a matchmaking error that could occur after quitting a hazard zone server even though I'm not sure how many people actually still play hazard zone but nonetheless matchmaking information is now visible in the player card screen they fixed a bug where a user encounters a matchmaking loop and gets sent back to the lobby disbanding a party before joining it no longer in correctly shows the remove ea friend prompt progression and unlocks got a pretty big change they adjusted ribbons to make them easier to unlock across all modes especially in rush they made further adjustments to specific ribbons next up cosmetic and weapon attachments are now correctly marked as new when unlocked xp from support actions has been increased while xp from objective actions has been decreased to compensate they added an xp event for killing a downed enemy in hazard zone repairing ranger now correctly triggers the repair xp event moving right along we have some updates for maps in breakaway they fix players or ai soldiers sometimes not spawning in the correct hq area hourglass they fixed a bug where players were still receiving damage from the tornado while still being in the stadium for the map kaleidoscope sprinklers are now active for nine instead of 20 seconds sprinklers no longer deal damage and they no longer affect players outside the building the freeze effect in the hud is less intense and fixed an issue where players could shoot through the tires of some trucks on 
kaleidoscope next up for orbital fire from the rocket explosion event is no longer invisible and will slowly dissipate for renewal they fixed a bug where soldiers and vehicles would be affected by the storm while inside buildings they reduce rubber banding when key events such as the rocket launch gets triggered they made a bunch of other quality of life improvements that i won't bore you with guys i recommend reading the rest of the patch notes to get the rest of the changes for maps next up we've got battlefield portal they made several improvements to the portal browser name slash description is now auto filled when creating an experience browsing experiences now remembers your previous search queries they resolved instances where the browse tabs didn't function correctly when applying custom filters they made adjustments to the chase camera on a number of vehicles in battlefield portal players will no longer remain in a stuck trigger animation after deploying c4 and immediately jumping into a vehicle update 4.0 brings a bunch of adjustments to audio they stated that they adjusted the wingsuit audio for sundance so they're easier to hear for enemies they added surface scrape sounds to vehicle with tracks when rotating stationary they improved audio across amphibious vehicles they improved outrange audio for the recon drone the proc sensor should no longer emit warning sounds if no enemies are within reach we've got a slew of different updates for modes for breakthrough they fixed air vehicles being able to spawn at opponents hq at the start of the round moving on to rush they fixed issues with rush declaring the winning team prematurely and or incorrectly deploying gadgets over rush mcoms should no longer prevent arming it for conquest they adjusted spawn locations to prevent spawning out of bounds moving right along we have some updates for soldiers they fixed some issues where the player would be impossible to hit when entering an exposed vehicle they fixed an issue where dead soldiers or friendly soldiers would block bullets fixed players not being able to place deployables in certain areas they fixed losing input when jumping on and off ladders your fov should no longer break after switching weapons on ladders they improved traversal across moving objects they updated animations for directional vaults soldiers will no longer die when swimming close to or under a water vehicle moving on to the animation they fixed an issue which would cause a broken weapon animations while sprinting into world objects such as a wall they fixed an issue where reload animations would play incorrectly next up they fixed sprinting out of water while swimming no longer puts you in a stuck sliding animation they made revive animations smoother switching weapons and a vehicle open seat will no longer result in a broken animation they toned down weapon movement during initial ads after deploy they smoothed out transition animations for camera and weapon movement when switching between stand and crouch jumping into water while reloading will no longer cause a broken reload animation they polished idle animation for rifles and then they fixed the issue where your arm would flail up whenever you're sprinting a lot of times this happens with the mp9 so i'm glad they finally got that fixed moving on to the specialist i'm only going to talk about one aspect on each specialist they fixed a bug where angel supply bag won't land when bouncing close to a vehicle for irish they made all vehicle types able to smash through irish's deployable cover moving on to dozer the sob8 ballistic shield and main weapon can no longer be equipped at the same time when bashing or entering a vehicle rouse cyber warfare suit should now feel more responsive now for palk they replaced threat perception with eagle eyed trait players damaged by palk are now spotted for everyone now for casper the ovp recon drone can now descend with crouch toggle buttons for boris the sg36 sentry gun should no longer clip outside elevators Falk's s21 serretti pistol can now be equipped while swimming they made it easier for mckay to grapple onto moving vehicles and then for sundance they updated the audio and made it so that the anti-vehicle grenades no longer go off in a distance and the anti-armor grenades now target things closer in the vicinity but yeah guys that's gonna pretty much wrap it up with most of the patch notes i wanted to highlight all of the big changes obviously i missed some there was a lot of notes in update 4.0 some things i didn't see were the performance improvements i hope that this update brings some sort of performance updates but it's not looking like that's gonna happen we didn't get any updates for new content which is super unfortunate at this point you can't have a live service game and not give content but i'll leave that topic for another video guys if you enjoyed this video and you're ready to play battlefield 2042's update 4.0 tomorrow let me know in the comment section hit the like button subscribe to the channel with your notifications on and until next time this has been wes and i will talk to you guys again soon Thank you.